a, a disappointment for Barcelona's manager and his uh, pre-match midfield. Trigueros, Capue, Parejo and more at the back. Well, Mr. Graphics thinks it's going to be with three. Change that run of negative results for Villarreal tonight against Barcelona. Let's see if uh, they can do that tonight. Uh, 11 selected by him as manager of Barcelona as a twist Barcelona momentarily with 10 men and that was a good early move prize they fantastic header superb save well that one's easy by Xavi Hernandez doesn't have too many alternates today referee Mr Soto Grado Busquets does well but goes down takes a fist to uh, put the ball into the area and a fine save from uh, Geronimo Rulli Chavi's team. Oh, that's a really poor one. Here's an opportunity. And Danuma can't get the shot off, or oh, the shot is blocked. In fist for Barcelona. Frankie de Jong was calling relatively easily. It's a good ball from de Jong as well. Memphis should be 1 0. That was close. And Unai M. Barcelona. Here's Pedraza. I think the ball. Again, it's a good run, but. More problems for Villarreal. And this time it's put wide by Gavi. And Barcelona have... Well, is he out of position here as Dayuma collects on the Villarreal area, tries to get around. Pedrata does well, cuts it back. Ping four, and they've left it. All the hard work still to be... Oh, he twists nicely away from him, gets into the area. Lovely work from Abde. It's Capoue who managed the block. Players from Barcelona being encouraged by Xavi to make those runs in behind teammates and from the coach, that that is a strength of his game. And it's So I think he can support him and, and concentrate maybe a little bit more on his desire I mean, closing down quickly. They've been caught in possession. Being, making sure his team are well organised, well coached, hard to beat, hard to score. To, to link up once they have the ball in there, slightly nervy attempt to play the ball out from the Bournemouth. De Jong, that's a lovely ball, here's Memphis, and again, Memphis missing the target with only Geronimo Rulli to beat. And down goes Jeremy Pino, and a free kick given onto his right foot for the shot, Parejo. Moy drives it in low. Echo over the top looking for Dan Yuma. Dan Yuma can be very dangerous. Certainly missed a couple of opportunities tonight. The first one. Pedraza looking to link our post. Alba clears. Trigueros is there. It was an awkward control. It seemed to almost come. Well, let's just wait. That one won by Pau. And eventually. Headed over the crossbar. Uh, Jamie, that little incident at the top to chase for Pedrafa. Options here, picks out Moy Gomez. Moy tries to cut it. So it looks like they might have changed tactics. Well, Pedrafa seeking to take it. Skets finding Eric Garcia. Oh, it's a combination with Trigueros. Well defended by Araujo. Quickly, though, here's Trigueros. Dan Yuma. And that's a good opportunity for Villarreal. It's got the option of a short one with Dan Yuma. Plays it to the far post. And what a miss from Pau. Did by Foyf. Foyf up there. Gets away from him well, drives it in low. First touch is a good one, gets into the area and he just overhits it with the second touch. And Raujo goes down. Cross. Oh, this is good. Surely that ball was. Javier Hernandez quickly called out there and he said, Corre, 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 which means you have to. This is Araujo. Oh my god, the main objective. Yeah, I think they can only blame the absence of Gerard Moreno. Example of that as that ball played through. Dan Yuma hits it. The ball played over the top to Dan Yuma. Well, say picture of why Ralho was there and one of his something to do with returning back on. And again, Pedraza causing problems. Parejo finding Pedraza who connects first time with the left foot. A volley from just inside the area on Araujo. 
and first of those mostly for that very early challenge get away from Pedrasa there still out there and in the end where the pow block that delivery looks to combine with three get back position and again Villarreal coming down the left flank Pedrasa with the we also said isn't ready for 90 minutes but that opening period and Gerard Piquet has also seen a yellow card Abde comes away with the ball does well to find goals to the far post and it'll be collected by Jordi Albo drives one in low it's turned over the line by Frenkie de Jong but the goal will not stand for offside but it all stems from the fact that Abde is in the position he wants to be attacking Pedraza beats him with ease probably should have been attacked better at the far post second uh, 20 25 minutes of the first half so Nico lovely play there Alba's cross and it's palmed away in the near I think it was a handoff wasn't it rather than an elbow I think it's retribution it's a good ball to Memphis the shot on target comfortable For won the first ever silverware that's a lovely ball better team the dynamic has changed again at the start of the second half and Trigueros and Samu's through and there's the equalizer and it's Samu Chukwese the Barcelona defense just disintegrates it's a little bit fortunate the way the ball or the way the move starts but once the ball goes Memphis is through Memphis around Ruli he's got a score and he does and Barcelona take the lead Memphis Depay is the man who does it Terry Gibson sometimes football can be so unfair well it's one long ball it's an out a relatively long spell of possession Coutinho gets into the area goes down and the referee points to the spot the whistle goes Coutinho it's 3-1 to Barcelona no mistake from Coutinho it's a well taken penalty I must admit Terry as a bit of an old school kind of Lloyd, se escribió tu nave, ayer tú estás ya en Kripo Pizaram, comen mis demás.